Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing awesome. Nim the Robot here playing Ark Survival Evolved Aberration on the Hobo Ark server. And today what we're going to do is tame some Carquinos. See you guys in the field. Alright everybody, so we're out in the field. And the first thing that you need to tame Carquinos the way that I do is a Pariser. So I just so happened to find this one walking around. So we're going to tame this pair, sir, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So pretty much the way that I do it, it's very simple. I just put up stone dino gates in a little square formation. Just go into K-Mode. If you have that problem where it throws things out too far when you try to place them, like, for instance, this dino gate, just bring it back closer to you. And then it'll place a little bit closer to you when it gives you the silhouette. So, you just make a little square, three-sided three square here. I didn't even do what I just told you to do. Alright, cool. Do it like that. Bam. Perfecto. And then, the second thing that you need is large bear traps. Let's wait for the music to be done. So you just take the large bear trap and put it in the center. Wait for it to deploy. And then we're going to run down and aggro the Pariser. Wait, we got to make sure everybody's on passive though. Behavior. Stay at on neutral. It would mess everything up. Alright. Come here, you. Oh. Alright, should follow us right into the trap. And it's not gonna. Well, it's cool, because we're out of water anyway, so we're going to run down here, get some water. She should follow us. Nope, she's just attacking the trap now. Yay! Hmm. Probably can get her aggroed. Man, these earthquakes are a pain in the butt. There we go. Yep, see? Trapped. You just run up behind her when she's trapped. Take that gate. Bam. Now she's trapped. She can't get out. Okay. And since she's trapped, we can tame her at our leisure. So I'm going to trank her out, and then I will see you guys after I do that. All right, everybody. So we're back at our base in the smithy, getting ready to make the saddle. So... The requirements for the Pariser platform saddle are 25 cementing paste, 200 fiber, 320 hide, 70 metal, and 45 silica pearls. Let's craft that one up. And then I'm going to show you guys the requirement for it. So you know what level you need to be. Level 50 is the requirement for the Pariser platform saddle. So if you or anybody else in your tribe is level 50, you guys can do this method. Hey everybody, so we are at about 4148 uh the map at, by the river and i just wanted to show you guys where you can get some metal and this is where i first got metal early on in the game now as you can see it's somewhat dangerous area so but you can do it on foot because i did it on foot when i first did it but anyway it's this ledge right here right above the blue trees the metal is these rocks right here with the blue veins and they're all kind of scattered out throughout here. As you go up, you'll see them. There's a big one right there, right by the waterfall. And you just want to watch out for Ravagers, Carquinos. See Ravagers? Lots of them. But you just want to watch out for those as you're getting metal. All right, everybody. So we are at about 2850 on the map. It is right here where this river coming from the lake up there feeds into this other river that goes this way now why we're here is if you follow this river up you're gonna eventually find pearls there's little clusters of pearls the little silica pearl clusters in this river see there's one Bam. 
that's enough to make a saddle. So, that's one place that you can get pearls. Other places, right down where we were, just follow this river down here. And you will find that there are trilobites that spawn here. Well, that one went back in the water, so you can't kill it. So did that one. How odd. We'll go over here. See, it's coming out of the water now. You want to angle them so they're away from the water. If you have a spino, this works a lot easier. But we're on the Ravager because I just wanted to show you guys where to get pearls. But there. Killed Prilobites, get pearls. Just for people that don't know. I mean, I know a lot of you know. Alright, so our sail's all crafted up. There you go. Nice. Cool. You just go. And demo the trap. Can put the materials on her so we don't lose them. And bam! There we go. We got ourselves our female pariser. But she was a nice level too. This is cool. Very good. Alright, well, we'll get her back to the base and get her outfitted with her saddle. Hey, Carbon of Myas. We're kind of doing something here, buddy. What do you, what do you want? What are you doing? Alright. Well, wildlife aside... Okay, so we got our brand new Pariser down here. She's all outfitted with her saddle. But, we're not going to use her. We're going to use Honey. Because, Honey was trained in speed. And for the sake of the video, I want to get where we want to go quicker. So I'm going to use her. But this Pariser would totally work. I mean, any Pariser is going to work. But, we're going to use Honey. So, it's going to get up on top of her. And this is what I do to build the saddle. It's a super simple saddle, honestly. Just go into K-Mode. Nope, I don't go into K-Mode. And I don't go into my inventory, apparently. I go into Honey's inventory and I grab the stuff that I needed, which I should have had before I started the video. But da 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 So... This is how you build the saddle. Just go into K mode, pull the object closer to you so that it doesn't go anywhere. Go into K mode so we can see where it is, so we can set it relatively straight on platform. And I put it all the way to the back like this. If you find like it works better a different way, I say do it that way. But that's the way I do it. So, set down their foundation. Then, we take our pillars. One pillar. Two pillars. Three pillars. Four pillars. Five pillars. And then one more pillar. Six pillars. Bam. And then, to get up to place the ceiling, I believe I have on my inventory, but right there. Put the ladders down. Wooden ladders work fine. If they get destroyed, you can just replace them. The ladder up there. Okay. Set other ladder. Another one. Bam. I think we actually need another one too. There we go. And then you put the ceiling on top. Just like that. Bam. And then you're going to take and take your catapult turret that you just made. Place it. Bring it closer to you. That's K mode. So we can place it to make sure it's straight. Very important to place this correctly. Alright. And mine the sway. That looks good. Bam. I think that's straight. Cool. Now we're all set up to go out, find some Kirkinos, and tame them. See you guys when we do that. Ah, I fell.
Alright, so we're ready to go look for a crab. As we're leaving the base, I see a level 15. Just chilling, attacking a raptor. Hmm. Anyway. This is the river that's behind my base, behind my house. So we're going to use this river. And we're going to look down it. There's two ways you can go. That way it goes to the metal type spawns. This way goes to more inland area. On the map, this is where I am. It's at 38, 45, around there, 38, 45. So we're going to go down that way. Now, what you need to build the trap part is you need stone fence foundations. Okay, goat, thank you. Stone fence foundations. Um stone dino gates and metal I see them in level in number three they are large bear traps so those are the things to build the trap now to aggro the crab onto you you're gonna have to have a crossbow or a bow and arrow see we already see crabs there's one Mm, level 85 female. I think I can do better. I'm gonna keep going. Making our way down the river. Spinos all around too. Level 35. Was that 135 or 35? 35. The cool thing is most stuff doesn't aggro onto the Pariser and you get to kill a bunch of glow bugs when you run. So there's another one. See they come into land sometimes. Oh it's only level 50. Again I'm gonna go. What is attacking me? Wow there's so many glow bugs here. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, there's the alpha one. One ten. Okay, piranha. These stupid piranha. There's so many of them in the water. All right, there's another one. What level are you? Ooh, male 150, sweet. All right, I'm gonna go after this 150 male then. Well, there's another one too, what level is that? Ooh, 120. All right. So, up here is where we're going to build the trap. Mm, right here is where we're going to build the trap. So you just take your stone fence foundations. There's a spino. Just put them out like this. Okay. Put one down, and then you put the other one in like a V. It's that sharp 90 degree angle B. Anyway, I don't know if it's 90 degrees, maybe it's a 30 degree angle. But, and then you take your stone dino gates, put one like that, and then put the other one like this on the other dino gate. Not dino gate, but the other fence foundation. Just like that, and then attach one more to the, to the back of it. And another one to the back of it. And then you're going to take and put your large bear trap kind of right there. I like having it as far up ahead as I can. Alright. So the Carquino didn't see our Pariser, which is good. Alright. Now we're going to go aggro the Carquino.
Come on, buddy. Ugh. Okay. Uh, it's more interested in that thing. Luckily, it's running towards us. Okay, cool. It's kind of coming after us now. Alright. Then just kind of get in front of the trap. And it should follow you into it. Sweet, it did! Alright, I might have put the bear trap a little bit too close. Come on, follow me, stupid. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put the bear trap about right there. That's the only problem. I didn't want to hit the bear trap. So now we're gonna aggro it again. These things aggro really just do not want to aggro you. Alright, come on, buddy. Okay. Alright, this should be good. Are you kidding me? See, the crab aggro is not very good. Or maybe I'm just too fast. Okay, that should be good. Got it. Okay, so it is trapped. We just walk up behind it, go in here, and we put in our second or our fifth dino game. There, and it's trapped. The closer you get it in there, the less it has to move around. But like the closer in the V area. But that's about as close as I would want to put it because if not, it'll maybe glitch it out of the trap and that's no good. So, Just by looking at the terrain, I think that this is the best point to attack. Hopefully, the other Carcino and that Spino don't mess with us. And they are. I'm gonna lead this one away. Because we might want to tame it. Alright, should be good. Alright, cool. It's going all the way over there. Nice. Alright. So our Carquino is all trapped, but it is nighttime. So I'm just going to let it stay trapped and we'll be back when it's daytime so I can see. All right, so it's daytime. So we should be able to see the Carquino pretty well. And now we're going to aim for its back. If you hit it in the legs or anywhere else, you're going to get just do damage and not any torpor. So. And you know that you hit it in the back when it does that little dance. It's doing this little dance. See, we just hit it in the legs. Little dance. Little legs. Little dance. Can't do anything about keeping it from spinning. Did its little dance. Did it. I'm being impatient. Did 
There, did its little dance again. Did its little dance. Just want to make sure that you hit it so he does his dance. There we go. Mmm. There we go. And just like that, our Carquino is down. Wow, that was some intense uh, music there. All right, cool. So according to the Tame and Calc, which I will put a link to in the down below, it says that we need 11 carbon amias kibble which we have so or it's 10 10 carbon amias kibble but we'll put 11 okay cool so it's down didn't get damaged too too badly i mean it did kind of bad but there you go that's how you trank it out so you want to hit it in the back the wiki says the head, but it's not really the head, it's kind of this back part right here. So we will just wait for it to tame up and then we will be back with a brand new Carquino. See everybody then. There we go. Our Carquinos is all tamed up. Sweet. Go back and get the saddle. Ah, oh, dang it! I thought I had the saddle on me. Back with the saddle. Let's pop this on there. Oh, take that kibble back. Put all that stuff on the pariser. But it shouldn't be too heavy. No, it's not. Oh, and it's purple one. I thought it was black. Nice. We just jump right out of the trap. Now, you got a couple of decisions to make with the trap. You can definitely demo this part, and you can leave it up. It depends on your server and how people want to handle that. I'm going to leave it up in case another crab comes by, so I don't have to waste more materials. But, I can always erect another trap somewhere else. Ah, uh, Carquinos are so awesome. can just jump... Crazy distances. Look at that. That's such a crazy jump. I can pick up stuff. Carry it. With both claws. How you pick stuff up is you just press and click the right or left mouse button, depending on which claw you want to pick it up with. And then it should pick it up. And then you can hit it. Just like that. And then if you press and hold C, you could take and throw it. Look at that. It just went so far. It's awesome. So, this is our new Carquinos. Orange and purple. Nice colors. It's got pretty good stats, too. 1100 health, 2700 stamina, weight 1100, and melee 355. These are really nice stats. Cool. Well, alright. Carquinos all tamed up. I'm gonna get bomb, I'm gonna get honey, and I'm gonna take the Carquinos back to the base. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We made it back to the base with our new Carquinos. We got Honey back here with the catapult platform on her. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you use it to tame a Carquinos. If you do, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. If you really like the video, 
subscribe to my channel for more aberration videos and for more ARC stuff. This has been Nim the Robot playing ARC Survival Evolved, aberration on the Hobo ARC server. I'll see you guys in the field.